In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Google Analytics to Facebook in the easiest way possible. Let's dive right in and streamline your data integration process with these simple instructions. To get started, open your browser and head over to Google. Once you're on the main page, locate the sign in button at the top right corner of the screen. Clicking on it will prompt you to choose your Google account. After selecting the account you want to use, enter your password and proceed to sign in. Now that you're signed in, look towards the top right of the screen again and you'll notice the Google Apps menu, which is represented by a grid icon. Click on this icon to reveal a range of Google applications. Here, you'll want to find and click on Google Analytics to open it up. Once you're in Google Analytics, find the Explore tab which will allow you to delve deeper into your data. Click on Explore to open a new interface. Here, you're going to create a blank report by clicking on the option provided, helping you to start with a clean and clear slate for your new data insights. Moving forward, we need to focus on the Dimensions section. Click on the plus icon in this section, which allows you to add different dimensions to your report. In the search bar, type in session source and landing page. These are critical as they're going to help track where your traffic is coming from and which landing pages your visitors are using. After adding these dimensions, confirm your selection to ensure they're included in your report. Next, navigate to the metrics section. Again, click the plus icon to add metrics that will capture data related to Facebook. This will be pivotal in understanding the impact that your Facebook presence has on your site traffic. Having done that, you'll need to go to the rows section. Here, you should select both the session source and landing page from the drop down menu. This will organize the data neatly and make it more accessible when examining the details. At the bottom of the report interface, you'll find a filters option. Click on this and then choose the plus icon to add a new filter. You'll want to select the contains option from the drop down menu that appears. In the text field provided, type in facebook.com. This filter is essential as it isolates data that comes specifically from Facebook, allowing you to analyze this traffic in depth. Finally, ensure everything is set correctly by clicking on apply. This action will save your settings and kick off the data collection process, providing you with insights into your Facebook driven traffic. And there you have it, a straightforward and efficient way to connect Google Analytics to Facebook, giving you the clarity and information you need to optimize your online presence. Thanks for joining me in today's tutorial.